When it comes to damage and loss of life, water is often the biggest risk. Meteorologist Hank Allen explains why you need to be aware of all the dangers. I think people totally underestimate the power of water. They need only to hear from a person who has stayed in a hurricane and ridden it out. Um, the, the, the quote I hear most often is, I'll never do that again. Jamie Rome is the head of the storm surge unit at the National Hurricane Center. We predict risk, we convey risk. So when we say storm surge could be as much as we're conveying the potential, you know, if it comes in exactly the right angle or you know, if it intensifies or maintains its intensity up until landfall. Storm surge is the leading cause of hurricane related deaths in the United States. So knowing how much storm surge is possible can be the deciding factor for when to evacuate or not. No other hazard in the hurricane has the ability to take so many lives. So if we give a best case and that doesn't materialize, people don't evacuate, communities don't prepare, and then, and then you, you lose a ton of people in storm surge. Storm surge isn't the only risk from water during a hurricane. And as the NHC's Michael Brennan points out, the danger zone extends far away from the coast. The rainfall flooding threat can take an inordinate number of lives. It's historically responsible for about a quarter of the direct fatalities from hurricanes and tropical storms in the United States. Uh, and those, those can occur well away from where a storm makes landfall, well inland, uh, and, and, and far away places from where people are initially thinking about the storm. We also lose people in, in rip currents and in uh, marine fatalities. So altogether, uh, if some type of water is associated with about 90% of the fatalities in U.S. tropical cyclones.